Once in a video I showed off the longest series of levels in Half-Life 2 that you could play in reverse, but it wasn't the true longest. It was simply the longest possible one while using strategies that I personally thought were easy enough for anybody to do. Some people disagreed. And it was kind of a shame that I only showed off part of City 17. There's a lot more in the game that you can do with this idea. So for this video I've investigated what exactly is or isn't possible for every single level in the game, and this time I'm not taking any of the options off the table, and that means I need to explain some stuff before we start. First, there's a specific zone that you have to be in in order to go to another map. Even in maps where you're not supposed to be able to go back, the trigger still exists for technical reasons. Usually on these maps, it's not possible to interact with the trigger at all. I will refer to these scenarios as dead ends, because there is absolutely nothing that you can do here except cheat. While doing this video, I'll show what I think are the easiest possible ways to do things, and I'll assume that the maps have been played through before going backwards. Also, there are some maps in the game that are extremely easy to go through backwards. I won't bother showing off these maps. And now we have to go over some... modes of transportation. Accelerated hopping of all types. This makes the game try to slow you down, but actually it ends up speeding you up. Damage boosting. Damage can push you in this game. That, that's it. That's the entire thing. If you get stuck in something, save the game, and then load the game, you will be pushed in a certain direction according to whatever your stored velocity was. Nobody's ever given this an actual name, so I'm just going to call it solid clipping, which is opposed to void clipping, which is a technically different thing. Quick clip changes how the player interacts with physics objects. Quick clip can be used to go through any wall as long as there's space on the other side. It also makes it easy to get stuck inside objects, so this will be helpful when trying to solid clip. In order to get quick clip, you have to do a complicated setup in Water Hazard. Once you've done this, you can keep quick clip forever. Just don't enter any vehicles or pods or else you'll lose it. And with that, all of the general information has been covered, so let's get to it. D3, B, o, one. I tried to do the obvious thing, which is click clipping through this glass. The game just really didn't want me to do that though. There is a trick you can do which speedrunners call Breen Blast, where you save and load the game a bunch as you're getting hit with the gravity gun, with the end result being that you get no clip. With no clip, you can go straight into the room where the level trigger is being hidden. Unfortunately, being in no clip means that you can't activate level load triggers. Either way, this is a dead end. Going back through the pod right areas is not possible at all. Note that if you load directly into Citadel 4 or 5, the game will give you some of your regular weapons, even though you're not supposed to have them. Unfortunately, there are a lot of dead ends in this area, but it gets better later on. Citadel 4. When going through this level, jam the elevator so it doesn't block the opening back the way down. Citadel 2 
Detected. Citadel one. Take props from City 1713 and either stack them or prop climb with them. I'm lazy so I just spawned a bunch in. We could bring even more props to climb up this way, but regardless, it's a dead end. D3 and C1713. C seven in twelve D C seven in eleven. C seven in ten D
C seven in two. Given up hope of ever seeing you again. D2 visit all eight. But you did. It looks like it's waiting for us. The con light is waiting for the whole story. When first going through this level, take some props out of this room and place them somewhere near the train tracks. They can be used later. You cannot ride on this elevator with quick clip enabled. There's a large area around here where you can walk around freely. This is important because the obvious path has been blocked off.
structure detected. The obvious path has been blocked off with an invisible wall. The level change is blocked by an invisible wall and must be approached from the other side. You have to jump over the fucky wucky trigger to avoid it. D one town all five.
fracture detected. Down to Canals 13. Most of water hazard can easily be done on foot if you are patient.
Canals zero one A. Canals one. Train Station 5, 4, and 3 are the only maps in the game where there's basically no chance of going anywhere. 2 is just walking followed by a dead end. If you start at the end of Train Station 1, you can prop climb back up to this room, but that's pretty much it. Here is a recap of the major streaks.